Ryan with Miss Duck Geek here. And in today's video, um, something a little bit out of the ordinary. I really haven't been on very much. Um, I just kind of been off doing a bunch of other things, <coughs> as was described in my a previous video. But um, I came into my shack this evening, which is also my office, and that's where I work from home and everything else. Uh, I came in here this evening and I noticed a certain smell. And if you've been into electronics long enough, you recognize the uh, Eau de Burnt Electronique smell. And I thought, huh, I wonder what that is. And everything around me was, seemed to be fine except for one thing. And that was that JS8 call was uh, saying that there was input output error on the sound card or something along those lines. And so I walked over to my shack computer and the smell got stronger. And then I looked at my beloved QDX and my beloved QDX did not have an LED on. And it was quite warm to the touch. Yep. <coughs> uh, yeah. So the QDX has gone to that great uh, electronic place in the sky, whatever that might be. Um, so we're going to tear down and, well, just take it apart here, the case apart, see what happened. Now, there have been reports of this happening on the QRP Labs uh, discussion group. So I, I'm not entirely surprised. In fact, you know, <laughs> I'll have to be honest with you folks, I'm not even upset. The uh, QDX is a wonderful, wonderful radio. And sometimes even wonderful radios can just go poof one day. And who's to say it's the QDX's fault? Who's to say that my um, bench power supply running at, uh, I don't know about, let's see, what is my bench power supply running at? Now, <clears throat> let's see here. Do, 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 do. I think it's running at 14 some volts. And this thing's rated for 12. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Let's grab the voltmeter. Come on. There we go. And let's check. Check the voltage. Oh, come on. I think the battery might be low. And it's almost exactly 14 volts. So that's definitely higher than the 12 volts that it's rated for by about 20%. <clears throat> okay, could that be it? Yeah, could be. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's continue uh, tearing this down here. And this is just going to be a... <clears throat> a single shot video, uh, no editing or anything because my editing software is broken. I think I might have a bad video card in my computer. I'm not entirely sure. I've had some weird things happen. Okay. Oh, oh no. I don't know if you can spot that immediately, but that is a lot of burnage <laughs> around the, um, uh, this, uh, I think this is the 3.3 volt. Um, oh yeah, that's the 3.3 volt uh, voltage regulator. And it appears to have sent 14 volts all the way to the uh, process or to the microcontroller and through here as well. That's burned. This is burned. That's burned. Yeah, some burnage going on here. Um, everything up top is beautiful. And that's good. So definitely going to salvage the inductors and the TCXO and, you know, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but down here, down below, <clears throat> excuse me, down here, down below, we have <laughs> some major carnage. Um, now, there people have some people have done modifications to this where they are feeding the 3.3 volt from the 5 volts instead of from 12 uh, which is a good modification and one that I should have done actually. So it looks like the 3.3 volt just overheated, went ka kaboom. Um, in fact, I wish I'd been in here when it happened because this thing, 
I bet it made quite a sound and sparkle. So I, I got off work about a little after four o'clock and I came back in here about 7.30. So somewhere in that time, things went kablooey. So um, I guess I'll be on the list to order the next, order one from the next round of QDXs, which has some a lot of improvements in it. So, uh, and, I, and also one of those improvements is that the 3.3 volt regulator is fed from the five volt instead of from 12 volt. So um, yeah, not even upset, just gonna get another one. And this was, uh, I think it's, I think the price has gone, I'm not sure if the price has gone up or not, but um, it still is what, 60 bucks, whatever. And I don't need a case, I've already got one, you see. So I just order another board and, th and this was easy to build. And the thing is, is that um, uh, this was easy to build. And also, um, you know, if I really want to, I could just like, <laughs> I just take the inductors out and swap them in. I'll probably do that. I'll just probably take these inductors out and swap them in a new, in the other one. Uh, or I might rewind them. I don't know. Um, probably be easier to rewind them rather than try to fit all, especially uh, the uh, L12. That one's a little bit tricky. So I don't know. We'll see. I probably won't do that, actually, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it closer. So, um, yeah, stuff happens. I ran it with a higher voltage than it's rated for. Um, I also ran it 24-7 since I bought it. I don't think this thing has been off more than uh, a couple days since I since I built it. Uh, it's been running literally 24-7 on JS8. Um, I have been uh, at my shack all, every, you know, every day uh, to monitor it. Uh, so if anybody's you know, complaining about JS8 automated stations or whatever, um, get over it. <laughs> Um, that's part of what GSA is, so that's, we're not hurting anybody here. Um, so I have it on there and yeah, it's, I mean, it's gone for what? Let's see, we're in February and this came out, gosh, I've forgotten. I'll have to look, but it came out so, several months ago and this thing has been on, literally on for several months, uh, with very, very, very few, uh, times being powered down for any reason. Um, even if it was just receiving, it was on. And, you know, JS8, it's got a pretty high duty cycle too. So this thing has seen some abuse. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised it lasts this long. Um, that's, and, and this is a flaw that's easily, that's already been fixed in the next revision. So like I said, I, I don't even have room to be mad. Guys, I got my money's worth. <laughs> <clears throat> and on top of it, I had fun. This is a fun little device. And it's, it's a delight to use, and it was worth every penny. <clears throat> so even if even if uh, uh, I had to buy the whole thing over again, which like I said, I've already got the case and stuff, so I'm just going to hang on to that, um, it would still be worthwhile. I mean, I spent, I think it was, was it 55 or $63 or whatever it was for this guy? Um, I think it was $55. I forget. Anyway, whatever it was, um, it was very, very cheap. I, you know, probably a quarter a day of out of use, maybe less, you know, a quarter dollar a day. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I've got my money's worth. Um, I would have preferred that it lasted longer. Oh yeah, duh. But let's put it in perspective. This is a hobby. You know, if this were RC planes, I would have already, I would have, spent more time building it, less time flying it, and it would have been crashed and dead already. And I'm not even kidding. I, that's, that's, I'm dead serious about that. RC planes, for me, the lifetime of an RC glider or an RC plane is measured in weeks, <laughs> um, sometimes months, and you, you might fly a, a couple hours uh, a, a month at the most. Um, you know, depending on how much time you have, you maybe a couple hours a month you might be out flying, and you crash. You crash, you break, you fix, you, and you try again. And sometimes you just crater in and have to start all over, such as in this case. No big deal. It's part of the hobby. Um, now, that might not be the expectation that some people have. They might expect that they spend, you know, 60 bucks or whatever, and it lasts a lifetime. Okay, well, yeah, some things do, you know. Um, but I have a pair of shoes I spent 130 bucks on 10 years ago. I still have them. That's great. It's because I almost never wear them. This thing got worn in the dirt, mud, snow, grease, and everything in between for months. And yeah, it, it went kaputs. Oh, well, get another one. 
anyway, thanks for watching. I sure appreciate it. And uh, you subscribe, like, whatever. Um, also, I'm trying out a new thing. I'm going to put it in the description below. If you like this video, you want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. I'm trying out a new thing. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.